Hey there YouTube, it's Larry again. I'm going out of my ordinary pattern here and I'm going to actually try shooting a video of the construction of these towers. It won't be step by step, but it'll be close. This is just to give you a general idea of what I was talking about in the previous video. Uh, this little section of tower or PVC tube that I have here is just a scrap that was left over from when I made the V tower. So it's a little shorter. It's six inches shorter than uh, the towers out there. Um, this is a spin on Gunner Schaefer's design. If you look down this tower on each side here, uh, you see these little keyholes that I cut in there or drilled in. That's just a quarter inch hole uh, with two slots going each direction to make uh, a one and a half inch slot. And unlike Gunner Schaefer's design, he does these every five inches. I'm doing these every six inches. Believe me, I have a good reason for this. And on his, he spreads the the planters uh, by four inches. Good grief, this camera won't even focus in daylight. I'm going every three inches. And again, there, there's a good reason for that. And instead of using the net pots to actually hold a, a seed starter, as you can see, these just hold a rock wool plug right down in there. And if I can get down inside and show you, the rock wool plug protrudes far enough that as water comes in on the top, it'll actually hit that rock wool plug and be able to water the plants. This can be done in a number of ways, either using a little shower cap of some sort in the top or just a spreader plate, who knows, you know, it's going to be an experiment all the way around. Uh, the way I do these, like I said, I, I, that first one's at three inches, then you go six, 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 and all the way down. And then on the other side, the first one's at six inches, and then again you go six inches all the way down. So on this smaller section, I can only get 11 planters in here. Um, <clears throat> The full size or full length tower like I did out there in my other system I could probably get two more in this and the way you make these you know people are gonna say well good grief that's a lot of work no actually it's not it this is far less work uh, than what's involved in making the V towers uh, after you cut those little holes there you know first you drill the hole I used a oh gosh just a a quarter inch bit on a, on a drill press. Drilled that in there first. Then I used a jigsaw after I had marked, you know, uh, three quarter inches off of this to the right and to the left of that, that line going up and down. Um, then I used a trusty old heat gun instead of a, a blowtorch like Gunner uses. Uh, they work a lot better. They don't burn the plastic or the PVC. So what you do, you heat it up really well with that and make sure you get it all the way to the edges because if you don't, you'll see I screwed one up here on the top by not getting it totally hot all the way across to the edges. Um, when you start heating it up, the plastic where you cut it will start curling. So you'll know that it's hot enough then, but make sure you get it heated all the way to the edges. And then, see if I can get a better angle here. I'm just using a plain old glass Coke bottle, uh, and after it's hot, I actually put this Coke bottle in there down to that first ridge of patterns in the glass, and I'm holding it at about a 45 degree angle. And I hold it there until it's uh, cool, which or cool enough that I can take the bottle out, which amounts to about a minute, maybe less. So after you get that formed and you have your rock wool plugs like so you just your rock wool plugs yikes this is hard to do one handed there we go they fit in there perfectly um, enough of the rock wool plug protrudes on the inside that it can be directly watered and you just go down your towers and it takes less time to do this than uh, what it was taking me to make those uh, V towers tracing the lines, cutting them, then cutting the, the media and all that. 
So that's where the design is going. This is just an initial prototype after I get all these uh, planters or rock wool plug holders put in here. I'm going to go stick it in the system out there and start watering it and see how the water trickles through it. I don't see a problem yet. Like I said, as long as uh, the water hits each one of those plugs on the top, it's just going to continue to drip down and hit the plug that's below it and you're going to water all of your plants perfectly fine. And it's a lot easier to build all the way around. Just a lot easier to build. And when you look at it this way, the way those plugs are in there, uh, your plants can actually grow up and not run into each other or create a shadow. It's really kind of funny because this is only a, I think a 31 inch tower, you know, with, and it's scrapped because it has the bell on the bottom. But I can actually get more plants in this shorter tower than I can get in a V, uh, a v tower. Go figure. So that's about all I have for right now. Uh, any questions, go ahead and post them as comments. Uh, don't bother sending me private messages because I'm not going to bother with those. So that's all. Take it easy. Bye.